Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Vlad and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to transfer your data from your old phone to your new phone using a USB cable. You will also require a good Wi-Fi connection. This method should work on most new Motorola phones running Android 11 as well as Google Pixel phones. It may also work with other brands running stock Android but I have only tested this method with Motorola and Google Pixel. I know that Nokia runs a pretty vanilla version of Android, so this process may also work with them as well. Let me know in the comments below if you managed to get this process working with any other brands, and if this video has helped you in any way, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to help my channel. Now this method should transfer across your photos, videos, music, and some apps as well as your home screen and some settings. This method may not transfer app-specific data. For instance, if you want to transfer data like WhatsApp chats, then you will need to do that separately using the apps process. So let's get started. To begin, you will need your old phone, your new phone, and a USB cable. The type of USB cable will depend on what connection your phones have. In my case, both of the phones have a USB Type-C connection, so I need a USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable. You can also use the cable from your old phone or your new phone, but you may need some sort of an adapter from USB Type-A to the correct connection. Make sure that both of your phones have a good amount of battery, if not fully charged, as some phones will draw power from the other phone, so you don't want to run out of battery in the middle of your data transfer. On your new phone, select the country and language that you prefer. Then tap on Start. At this point, you can insert your SIM card or you can select Skip. It is important to note that the SIM card is not required for your data to transfer across. Next, Go ahead and select the Wi-Fi network that you wish to connect to. It is important to connect to Wi-Fi during this process as you will not get an option to transfer your data if you don't. It is required in order for the apps to be downloaded from the Google Play Store as well as for the Google account sign-in process. Once you are connected to Wi-Fi, it may take a few minutes, so give it some time. Then you will see a screen that says Copy Apps and Data. Tap on Next. After that, you will be prompted to use your old phone. Tap on Next. Then you will need to grab the USB cable and tap on Next. Insert the USB cable into your old phone. Then tap on Next. Insert the other end of the USB cable into your new phone. You will see a screen asking if you want to copy your data across to your new phone. Tap on copy. If you have a pin number or password lock screen on your old phone, you will be asked to verify this on your new phone. However, I currently don't, so all it's asking me is to enter my password for my Gmail account. Go ahead and enter your password. This is required in order to verify that it is actually you trying to copy all the details across. Once you are signed in, your phones may take a few minutes to get all the data ready for transfer. Give it some time. On the next screen, you will be able to choose what you want to copy across. If you want to copy everything, 
make sure every checkbox is selected. Or if you don't want to copy certain things, then uncheck the checkbox. So if you don't want to copy call history or device settings, you can uncheck that. I'm going to go ahead and copy everything and then I'm going to tap on copy. If you get any additional setup screens popping up, go ahead and make your selections and follow the on-screen instructions. Once you have gone through all the additional setup screens, your data will start to copy over and you should get an estimate of how long the process will take. I don't have a lot of data on my old phone, so the process is going to take less than a minute. But if you have a lot of data on your old phone, then this could take a little while. When the data transfer has completed, tap on finished on your new phone and tap on close on your old phone. You may now disconnect the cables. If you see any additional setup screens, just follow the on-screen instructions. The process is now complete and you should see that most of your data has moved across to your new phone, but you will need to give the phone some time to download all of your apps and depending on the amount of apps that you have, this process can take a little while so it's important to have a good Wi-Fi connection. You can check the progress of your app downloads um, from the notification. So if you swipe down, you can see completing setup installed 2 out of 48 applications. After that, all that's left for you to do is sign into all of your accounts. So hopefully you will know all your login details. So if you've made it this far, thanks for watching. And if this video has helped you in any way, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to support my channel. I'll catch you in the next one.